sponsor season and today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, Skillshare, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. They come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. It's a place to get inspired, to learn new skills, and to get them to work in impactful ways. They want to make the creative life possible for everyone around the world. I joined Skillshare to level up my skills for YouTube, but I also use it for other things like personal growth and self-care. They have all kinds of classes ranging from film and video, music, business, photography, lifestyle, t so much. Some of their most popular classes that I've enjoyed in the past are the Ultimate Self-Care Playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self with Jonathan Van Ness, and Indoor Gardening, Grow Houseplants, Veggies, and Herbs with Ekta Chaudhry. The class I took this month was Premiere Pro Lumetri 2020, Color Correct and Color Grade Like a Pro with filmmaker and YouTuber Jordi Van De Put. It's a class I took to help me, well, color grade like a pro. <laughs> I learned a lot of tips and tricks about the Lumetri tab that I really wish I had known a long time ago, that I thought I knew what I was doing, but I really wasn't. <laughs> anyway, I just really can't wait to use the skills that I've learned. Now is the perfect time to invest in yourself. With the Skillshare membership, you can engage in your hobbies and passions all year long. It's the perfect way to start and finally keep your resolutions for the new year. This isn't like the other holiday sales you're seeing. It's not about more consumption, more stuff, more clutter. This is about you, your passions, your curiosities, your creative spirit and growth about doing something for yourself all year long. So invest in yourself. It's worth it. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Go ahead, give it a go. Explore Skillshare and see what classes you'll find. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and let's get on to it, to it, to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, go back to class, sweetie. You're all better now. Mm. I'll let her know you're on your way. Bye-bye. Nurse K. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm sending her back. Well, she said that she had a, a tummy ache, but she laid down for a little bit. She got bored. I had her working on some worksheets. And all of a sudden, her tummy's okay now. <laughs> mm hmm. All right. She'll be there soon. Bye bye. Okay. Miss Jensen's place. It's already fourth period. <laughs> Time flies when you're, you know, having fun. <laughs> okay. So let me pull up the sheet here. So it's Miss Jensen's class's time to do all the lice checks and you're the first they sent, huh? <laughs> okay, you're the brave one. You don't mind if I eat some snacks, do you? I was busy during lunch and I didn't get to eat anything. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Alright. So let's see. Alright, sweetheart. What's your first name? Okay. And your last name. like we didn't get to you yet for the lice checks. <laughs> and I do also see here that you were absent on the day that we were doing the general checkups for the class. So you missed your general checkup. Is that okay if we do that here today? Ah, 
awesome. It shouldn't take long. You'll be back to class in no time. <laughs> okay. So tell me, what do you know about lice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this is something I do with everyone. Just so we have a better understanding of lice and what they are. Um, I do have... A worksheet that I'd like you to do on lice. So, let's see. Right. so with the first sheet, we have all the information that I'd like you to read, and then the second sheet here, we have just the quick little questions so that I know that you understand. Okay? So I'm gonna sit there, right over here for you. Sweetheart, let me know if you have any questions. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for a period, here we go. Checks for your class yesterday. I do have a list of three different students that were actually absent or either, you know, were somewhere and didn't get the lice check. So, um, I think we're gonna need to figure out either if we have time today. I might have time after Miss Johnson's class today and then I'll give you a call. Um, but if not, maybe tomorrow. Okay, yep, I'll send that list over, okay? Bye-bye. I'm sorry, what was that, sweetheart? You needed help? Okay. Let me take a look. What'd you get so far? Okay. So, lice are also known as... Mm, head... Head louse. Very good. Okay. Head lice move by, they cannot hop or fly, they, they crawl. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. You got that one, good. Mm, I don't know about this one. So, let's take another look at this one. Head lice are spread by with the hair of an infested person is spread by contact spread by contact yep so what are some examples of how this could happen what do you think how 
Perhaps would you come in contact with someone else's hair or head like that? Wearing someone's hat? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, what else do you think? Hair ties, hair clips. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. What about if um, you're sharing a scarf? Do you think that would transfer? Yeah, I might. It's touching the hair. Yep. Very good. Same with coats. What if someone offers you um, to use their hairbrush? Exactly. We don't want to be sharing hairbrushes. <laughs> All right. So, um, what if you go to a sleepover? Pillows, yeah, if they give you a pillow to use, but you know, it, they used it the other night and they hadn't washed it yet. Exactly, even laying on the couch or on, you know, whichever. So there's a lot of different ways that they could, you know, be, could be transferred, right? Let's move on. Let's see, so true or false? Personal hygiene or cleanliness in the home or school has nothing to do with getting head lice. What do you think? False. Okay, well, so that's actually true. It has nothing to do with personal hygiene. Okay, so if someone gets head lice, it's not their fault. No, 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 not at all. It has nothing to do with how many times to take a shower or wash their hands or anything. It's no one's fault and they're not dirty. Or gross. Okay, I'm glad we got that. All right, signs of head lice. What are we thinking? Itchiness, scratching. Yep, yep. Good. Good. Exactly. Write that down. Good job. Yeah, you didn't even need my help. <laughs> All right. Another two are false. Okay, let's see. So. Dogs, cats, and other pets play a role in spreading hair lice. What do we think? They do not actually. They do not play a role. Mm -mm -mm. They hit lice only like us humans. <laughs> okay. And I'll let you continue with that last one, which is just draw an example of some lice. Draw an example. Okay. I'm almost done here. I'm going to move on. thinking about hanging all the drawings on my wall. <laughs> Some of you are such artists. <laughs> oh, you're so, so cute. Well, they're not cute in real life, but that's a cute drawing. <laughs> okay, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. No? Okay, not 
that's a good sign, but I just want to double check to make sure there's nothing there, okay? Alrighty. Check your hairline here. And the other way for me, please. Right. Okay, so I'm not seeing any anything in your hair lane there so I'm just gonna go right to your hair um, so I'm gonna be checking the scalp I'm gonna be using these two to part your hair so I can get a good look at the scalp I'm just gonna get behind your head, okay? here and this way I can double check to make sure that nothing comes off on 
a little ruler on the wall. It's painted. Yeah, you see that? Okay. Go ahead, stand over there for me. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And there's a scale right there. What's that say if you don't mind me asking? Grew a lot taller. <laughs> Look at your last years. <laughs> You're growing like a weed, aren't you? <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna take your temperature. All right. really good at teaching that one. Hold still. Hold still. Alright, you're clear. Get an 87. Your, um, your blood pressure. Okay, so go ahead, set that on, or <laughs> put that on your finger. Okay. Now I want you to uncross your legs for me. Mm -hmm. And hold this hand under your heart. Good job. Okay. I'm just gonna turn that on. Let it do its thing. It's just gonna take a second. All right. You know, I don't see you here very often. You must not get sick very much, huh? That's good. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Your immune system is very important. Gotta take care of it. Mm-hmm. And you don't have any allergies? It's 
spring allergies. Yeah, I feel like we all do a little bit, huh? a good one. Nice and strong. Check your eyes. Nothing like the eye doctor, just a little check. Can you close your eyes for me? Close them. Ready? Blink. 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 Very good. Okay, can you blink them fast for me? Like really fast. Good, okay. Now, can you look at me? I'm gonna check out your people style. Great at me. How many fingers am I holding up? Good. How many fingers am I holding up? Good. Now down here. How many fingers am I holding up? Good. Up here. How many fingers? Very good. All right. Next. Um. Because these cards might seem obviously way over level, but it's um, I'm checking some cognitive stuff, okay? And your eyes at the same time. So, what do you see here? Flowers. Good. What color are these flowers? What color? What is the first thing that you think of when I say flower? Or a little bit of a word association. Yeah, I think a spring too. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. That's so cute one. <laughs> What's this? A turtle? Good. Very good. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. Okay. What color is the turtle? And what color is the shell of the turtle? Good. All right. Now, word association. What's the first thing that you think of when I say turtle? Oh, really? <laughs> is that a movie? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We'll have to just stay on that one. All right, one last one. What's this? Umbrella. And what color is it? Yellow. Right. Word association. What's the first thing you think? 
green, me too. <laughs> we have all kinds of similar answers. We think alike, I bet. Okay, good. Very good. Let's check those ears. This one second, I gotta go grab. Ugh. sweetheart mm -hmm. and how do you clean them with q-tips okay so just so you're aware q-tips are bad to clean your ears with because there's a chance that it could get stuck in there and ruin your eardrum among other so I recommend other methods. Okay, you can talk to your parents about that one. All right. Don't mind this mess. Goodness. Okay, now I'm gonna make sounds on either side. You tell me which sound or which side you hear done, okay? in both that time. <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna check inside your throat. Where did I put that? Oh goodness, let's chin this over here. There it is. So I'm just gonna put this inside your throat here and take a look. I just wanna make sure everything's okay in there. Okay, say, ah. Uh. Okay. When was the last time you went to the dentist, sweetheart? Okay. That's okay. Alright. And you haven't had your tongue so. That's good. Have you had a history with strep throat? there, so we're all good. Okay, so I'm gonna check your muscles, all right? When I come in, I'm gonna touch your face. Okay, can you smile for me? Good. Now frown. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? And furrow your brows. Can you squint your eyes for me? Okay, good. Now, can you hold your arms up like this? Yep. Good. Now I'm going to push down on them, and you do your best to hold it up, okay? Ready? One, two, three, and... Good, good, good. I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to push up, okay? Ready? One, two, three. 
Good. All right. Now bring your shoulders up like this. I'm gonna push down on them and you resist, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Good. Good job. Okay. All right. And while we're here, I'm gonna feel your thyroid. this does not um, replace your general checkups at your uh, general practitioner but I will send a little note to your parents that we did the general checkup and what I found and that you're healthy your aid is rain so uh, yep I'll do that and I'll let them know that um, yep just schedule an appointment for something at your doctor If you say so, you can come and see me anytime, okay, sweetheart? Remember, I'm here for you. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and go back to Miss Johnson's class and send whoever's next, okay? Alright, thank you. <laughs> Miss Jensen. Yep, I'm sending them back. Go ahead and send whoever's next, okay? They should high five in the whole way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Always fun. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye bye. Hey, you two. Canoodling. Over in the hallway. Get back to class. Do you even have a hall pass? 